Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Greg Chamberlain. For those of you who have not entered into my Skyrim giveaway on YouTube, make sure you do. You can get a free copy of Skyrim. That drawing is going to take place the first week of January. You can visit my website or the YouTube channel and check it out. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom desktop icons in Windows 7. This is actually very easy to do, only it was confusing when I first started figuring out how to do it. So, First thing you got to do, of course, is find an icon. What category of an icon do you want to use? For this example, we're going to go ahead and make an email icon because, I don't know, maybe you want an icon for your email or something. Change it because you think it looks better. So let's go ahead and go to google.com and bring up the website here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in mail and I'm going to type in the word icon and press enter. Now at the top here on the left, you want to select images, so we can actually take a look at the images we're looking at, and most importantly, in the bottom left-hand corner, we want to select the size of icon. Now, we are then greeted with a whole slew of choices we may have to create an email icon for our desktop. Personally, I'm just going to take one of these first ones here. Let's go ahead and take this one. It looks nice, uh, but this is very easy to do, so you can try out a number of them. Go ahead and select that icon. And then you want to right click on it and click Save Image As. And then once your save document comes up, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my desktop and I'm gonna type in the word here, mail icon, that'll be fine, .png. Uh, try to make sure it's PNG, especially for this example. Most icons are going to be in PNG and I recommend you do them in PNG because they actually have transparent backgrounds and you don't wanna have a funny looking you know, background while you're looking at an icon, do you? It'll look goofy. So then click Save. And then the second part is the not-so-tricky, tricky part that many people don't realize. If you try to select a PNG as your icon, it won't work. You've probably tried it. That's probably why you're watching this video. Next place you want to go to is, again, google.com. And then your search, type in convert PNG to ICO. And then press enter. And then the first result is convertico.com. Go ahead and select that. And we're going to choose a file. Again, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to select my mail icon.png. I'm just going to double click on it to select it. And then I'm going to select the convert button. Now, after it's converted, you can just right click here and click save link as. And I'm going to save it to somewhere where I won't ever see it because it's kind of annoying if you have an icon picture on your desktop with an icon. It gets confusing. So let's go just go to computer and go to the C drive. And I'm just going to save it here in the C drive as the same name, mailicon.ico. Let's just click Save. And now that we've done that, let's go back to our desktop. And we no longer need the PNG version of the icon since we've already converted it to a .ico. So let's go ahead and delete that. And then on this email, let's just say this is a link to your email. Maybe it's your Outlook or something like that. You can right-click and select Properties. And then you want to select the Change Icon button. And then at this point, it's got my default icon here. I can just select Browse, and then we navigate again to our C drive here. Up here at the top, it shows mine. So I'm just going to select that. And then I'll scroll down, and I will eventually come across my mail icon.ico. Very, very complicated, I know. So select Open, and as you can see, I can see it right here. And then I can select OK, and then Apply, and then OK, and voila! I have my own fancy custom email icon. Now that's all there is to this video. As always, leave comments and ratings and please subscribe. It always encourages me to continue making videos. Check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. You can follow me personally on Twitter at Craig Chamberlain. So stay tuned, guys. i got plenty of awesome videos ahead, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.